I think Bryce Young, that's his name, the quarterback for uh, yeah. Bama, him playing made that game so much more legit. If he didn't play and, and Tennessee wins, and they don't get uh, – even if they win that kind of fashion, obviously it's a huge win and stuff like that, but having their starting quarterback play and to play the way he did made that game just like boom, boom, boom. So it much been an more – win for sure. Yeah, it would have felt like that a little bit, right? But – just guns blazing, reminding me of the divisional game between Bills and Kansas City the entire time last year. It was, yeah. it was uh, an electric game to watch. It's so back and forth. I, I felt the same way, Jackie, when that fumble recovery happened, and they ran in. I was like, "Damn, this it's is when Bama just becomes I Bama now." I know. Yeah, I mean that's what. But dude, the they they yeah. stayed so composed. The coaching staff and the players just. Whether it was the missed field goal that we had or that fumble recovery or the interception, uh, they just kept battling back with a game plan. And that's like why I love Hypel so much is most coaches in our past would have, when we got the ball back right there with a minute left, a lot of them would have kneeled it to go to OT. But that's not Hypel. That's he, he went for it, took shots. And Brew McCoy, he's one of our really big receivers, didn't have like, a historic game like Jalen Hyatt, but he had the biggest catch of the night, probably setting up our field goal. And yeah, after that, it's just kind of a blur, just a lot of emotions, sweat, tears, just hugging and body odor. Driving. Yeah. A lot of it. Um, dude, that yeah. fucking, and that kicker put up a muffin too, dude. Yeah, barely, McGrath, like, you barely even a little ball. I, I, I keep hearing from people that it was tipped. I've watched it a bunch. There was three Bama guys that, I said it on Buck's show, like, I still feel like when I'm re-watching it that they're going to block it, like, still here. That dude got afterwards. in. He got in. Like, they're God watching tape him. like, hey, we're all celebrating now, but. Yeah. Yeah, it's just scary, but they got it down and, uh, yeah, took the win. So, it, I know, I know I'm biased because I'm a Tennessee fan, but I saw it all over Twitter and stuff. I think it really is. It makes college football a lot better when Tennessee is actually, uh, you know, a dangerous. Michigan, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. We love Michigan. We love Michigan here. I mean, Michigan too. Hey, Taylor, I was I was in the concourse getting a beer. I was texting you guys saying I could only get uh, Wi-Fi out there, and I ran out because the last time I saw the Michigan Penn State score was thirteen seven. So I, I was like kind of nervous for it, and then next thing I saw, you know, it was like forty to thirteen, and I was super happy for you guys and and the boys in blue up there. Yeah, I think uh, college football is just better when two or so, two historic programs are just that good. And Absolutely. so I think it's huge for college football. But college football, dude, I'll tell you what, playing in the NFL is like being in the NFL is great. But like, I love watching college football so much more. It just it's it just seems like I don't know. It's more pure. I, I, I don't know. It's more pure. I don't know. Like, it does feel pure. Yeah, I feel like it means I more in a way. It's yeah. outstanding. Yeah, and you... the rivalries, the back and forth, like storming the field and i love the fact that they stormed the field i don't know what the fuck bloss was talking about i love bloss to death but i think it's a horrible take like i absolutely love everybody on the field in 2000 i think it was 12 we beat ohio state for the first time in like 10 years and the fans stormed the field and i like stayed out there i was like all about it like running into people yeah my boy chris brown not the rapist but the hockey player came up we were giving big fucking hugs dude i had tears streaming it was, it's incredible but Tennessee taking a little farther and tearing down the goalposts and throwing it in the Cumberland, like that's now that's now like they made a historic event. Like here lies the goalpost for yeah. the twenty twenty two game against Alabama. Like that is so fucking cool to me. I was like in my head, I'm like, burn the motherfuckers down, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Get that shit done. <laughs> Like chaos, anarchy, like all that shit after games. That's like part of college football. Obviously, you don't want gunshots going off. I'm not talking about gunshots. I'm saying like, just like like when Michigan went to like the like the national championship, like people are in the street burning couches for uh, couches for no reason. And I'm sitting there on my top deck of my house, looking, going, yes, yes, dude, let it happen. It's fucking awesome, dude. That's college football. That's yeah. college sports, dude. Like watching them, watching the streets walk that goalpost all the way to the river. What's even funnier to me is the, you know, the billion dollar school asking for everybody else trying to do a little I, GoFundMe. I support that. Yeah, all. they're doing a little GoFundMe. Like, hey, we need a we need a goalpost back for Saturday. Like, would have been a hilarious if it was a joke. That would have been funny. But then they literally doubled down and are posting like the PayPal link or whatever, and that. Really? Apparently, though, I heard a rumor. I don't know if this is true or not. 
that they had just paid off those uh, goalposts because they were new last week. And then they snapped them, and now we have to have them back for this week for, for our homecoming. Dude, that's, it's amazing. Like, that game was that's amazing, bro. Like, Dude, not th- I, I Googled it, and it said $5,600. It's like, what? Like, like my I mean, like, they can, get, they, can buy, they can buy a goalpost, bro. They can buy a goalpost well, immediately Heibel, and get Heibel that thing put up. press conference this morning said that he's willing to pay for the goalpost if he has to. Dude, I love that. Dude, Nebraska, let's just call it what it is. We're in a rebuild year. We're in a rebuild year right now. We're we're a rebuilding team that's still competing to play in the Big Ten Championship. That's but, crazy. It brings up Nebraska right now. Hang on. I'm, I got somewhere to go with this. That's <laughs> 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 fucking wild. He goes, yeah, Jack, that's unbelievable, the goalpost. That's crazy. Let's talk about Nebraska. Listen, no. we're in a rebuild year. I get it. <laughs> no, dude. I'll go somewhere with this. But while we're in this rebuild year, like I want to pledge my allegiance. I'm still House Nebraska always, but I would love to bend the knee and pledge my allegiance to the Tennessee Volunteers. My queen is Chancellor Plowman. My king is Coach Heupel. Hell dude, yeah. the fact that a couple of years ago when he got hired and nobody wanted him. Oh, they you did a, look at the receipts on Twitter. Yeah, everyone's the, freezing, like, the freezing cold takes that they got, like everybody awesome. hated that hire. And the fact that he's turned that program around and they are like talked about now, like they're, they're in it. They could go to the net. They, they can talk about going to the netty this year, right? Like, are they going to have a hangover? Game? You guys got a tough schedule coming up, but dude, it's, I saw Taylor's tweet too. Like, how do you bleed blue, red, and orange? And I feel the same way. Like, I'm like, man, how do you not root for the Tennessee volunteers this year? Like, it's just, they're fucking awesome. And I just, I just want to say like, I pledge my allegiance and I am bending the knee to the university of Tennessee. I love that so much. Hey, let me second that, dude. I'm with you on that one. Yeah. I'm with you. Hey, go big red, go big orange, and motherfucking go blue, dude. That is is where I'm at in my life right now.